Hello, hello, how's it going guys? So I just want to make a quick update video to my previous video, which was talking about um, whether or not stuttering sh should be seen as a disability. So when I posted that video to a couple different um, stuttering Facebook groups, I asked for their opinions on whether or not they personally thought that stuttering is a disability. And I got a wide range of responses, um, some of which kind of agreed with my last video, some of which totally disagreed with my last video, but it was really great just to hear you guys and to hear the whole stuttering community talk about this issue. So what I learned from that is that there are a lot of different de definitions of disability. There's no one straightforward definition of disability. It can be interpreted so many different ways, really depending on how we, we see that word. To me, um, my, my, my personal view stands as my last video is that I personally don't see stuttering as being a disability in my my life. However, that's not to say that everyone else thinks that same way like me. Because a lot of people responded, a lot of people told me their stories of how stuttering can kind of be a disability to them. One interesting topic that was brought up is that um, Apparently, stuttering under the Americans with Disabilities Act is classified as a disability, which means that people can actually get accommodations or social security benefits just because of their stuttering. So that was a really great point that was brought up because to some people, you know, they may need those accommodations. For me personally, you know, I don't really need accommodations in my day-to-day -day life because I accept stuttering as part of who I am and, you know, I, I just don't really need that extra help. And one thing that I learned too is that you can still accept your stuttering and classify it as a disability. Everybody's different. It, to some people, the word disability doesn't really have a very, very negative connotation to it. And I totally respect that. We're all on d different journeys with stuttering. We all have different levels of severity and face different challenges day to day. So it's not like my, my version of stuttering is gonna be the same as anyone else's. So to be honest, I was just really glad that I got those responses because it really gave me an opportunity to open up my eyes a little bit and hear all of you guys to hear the whole stuttering community because really when it comes down to it you know i like to keep a very positive outlook on stuttering and i know that not everybody can experience that too so instead of just trying to be an advocate for myself i want to be an advocate for everybody who stutters and i want to hear all of your voices your beautiful voices.